Carl Brown, you've just published a very important paper about the Master Bay Archaeology Project. What is the paper called, please? Fire as an Engineering Tool of Early Modern Humans. And basically you're saying that the South African briar got tool making going. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Yeah, more or less. That's a that's yeah, a simplified version of the of the project. And, and how did this come about? Well, um, the research began really as a in some ways as a problem, because I had been looking for the types of raw materials we were finding in our archaeology site to use to make experimental tools, and we couldn't find those raw materials. And from there, you 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 found you found that the stone had a red cast to it. Is it still Pete? Um, yeah, the Silkrete, exactly. And, the red and that started you thinking. It, it was yeah. It the the coloration was a deep red, which we couldn't find naturally, um, and then it also has a, a shine or a, a luster to it um, that's also in a, a really uh, fine texture that we weren't seeing from any of the um, sources that we had collected from. Almost as if it had been annealed by fire. Yeah, yeah, and it's, you know, heat treatment is known from more recent times uh, at archaeology sites, and that that luster or gloss is really typical, but it just, it's so early. And how early is it? Well, it's, you know, the consensus view is that heat treatment began in Europe about 25,000 years ago, um, and so we're talking about uh, deliberate um, systematic heat treatment at 70,000 years ago in South Africa and we think as early as 164,000 years ago. So, so they really have been having holidays in Mossel Bay for 164,000 years? Absolutely. And this is part of the SACP4 project. What is the SACP4 project? Um, it is, let's see if I can get the, the acronym right, it is the South African Coastal Paleo Environment, Paleo Climate, Paleo Anthropology, and paleoecology project. And what's happening behind you now this morning on film is part of that. This, these these uh, children are doing what? That's correct. This is part of the, the outreach program that we've set up with the Diaz Museum. Um, and so the, the idea is to bring in school kids from all backgrounds from all around the area uh, and have them come in. They get a lecture in archaeology um, and then they're turned loose out here in the, the sandbox. Um, and our uh, permanent employees that are based here at the museum work with uh, the Diaz Museum staff to, to teach the kids how to dig and not only that, how to record on paper the types of things they're finding. Now, your, uh, public, uh, your, public, your, your paper was published in, in what publication? In Science. And that is, that is a peer review publication? It is. Why is that important? Um, it's important because it's, it's discussion, scientific discussion and criticism to some degree, I think, that, that continues to move the field forward. And so it's important that you get your results and, and particularly significant ones out to where other people, not just in the, your study area, but really around the world can see and comment on. Now, I believe that the... Um the Mossel Bay Archaeology Project is, has got the greatest uh, grant is, uh, of any archaeology project of its kind. Yeah, it's, it's the largest archaeology grant ever awarded by the National Science Foundation, which is where our, our funding comes from. And, and it's been successful because we're not just looking at archaeology, but we're looking at climate change over the last 400,000 years. And lastly, can you give me an idea of the sort of Look and look and feel of, of your of your scientific team. Yeah, we've got over 40 scientists. We're international. Um, we include quite a few South Africans as well, um, and so we bring people from a, a lot of diverse backgrounds together. Um, and we've really sort of found that there's no question that that we can't answer. Uh, collectively as a group if we put our minds to it. So you've got climatologists, paleontologists, archaeologists? Correct. Yeah. Bibliologists that you can. <laughs> as many as we can collect, yeah. And now they're all enjoying a South African Yes. Thank you so much. Sure.